Hey guys, I'm Ezzy. Welcome back to another First Look video. This week we have the last two new dungeons on the War Within Alpha. The one we're looking at today is City of Threads. Now this won't be like my usual quick start guide videos. It'll be a full playthrough of the dungeon as I test and learn the mechanics of the dungeon. Right, the City of Threads. One of the last two dungeons we haven't seen yet. Hmm. So we have the two Ashkahet dungeons, and with how uh, they're uh, named, I think they're both the same theme. Uh, the previous uh, ones had different themes between them, but this all seems to be, at least uh, based on the names, it sounds like they're both within the city. All right, so what do we have? We have things that need interrupting. Venom strike, I'm not sure what's supposed to, what it's supposed to do. And these are dying pretty quickly. There's four bosses, so not like last week where we had just three bosses. Okay, Cone, Ravenous Swarm, what does that do? Just a dot. And that's it. Mm. Okay. Is there a map yet? No. Herald of Ansarek, you're casting a lot. And there's a lot going on now. We have puddles and people, I'm guessing, with debuffs. Yeah. That shoots orbs from themselves. Movement speed reduced by 70%. Oh, that'll be web bolts. Yeah, that's web bolts. Twisted shadow of doubt. Explode with doubt upon removal. Okay. I need to get stone form out of my uh, spell book. Mm. I hate this new spell book, by the way. I just like the small page. Although I did think I saw in the notes they were implementing a, a shorter version, a compact version. Let's no, let's check. Yeah, okay. They are working on that. So, these heralds, they cast continuously. As soon as you interrupt, they start casting something else again, or almost instantly, at least. Which is... A design choice I'm not in favor of. And they even nerfed that um, on some mobs in Season 4. So I guess they just wanted Season 4 to be temporarily easier. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, Orator Crixfix. Let's see what he does. Hold on, what's that? Okay, so we need to stay within the circle. Terrorize, cone, move out of that. Hmm. Terrorize again. Subjugate. What is subjugate? Indoctrination. Doesn't really seem to be doing much. Oh! Did you see that? The circle at the end? Alright, well, uh, we need to check the journal. 
Let's just see what that does. All right, let's have a look at the journal. So, Orator Crivix. Mm, Chains of Oppression binds all players to uh, dark magic. Whenever a player is more than 10 yards away. Okay, so that's the pulling in. You have to stay within the circle. Then there's Subjugate. Okay, so that was a cast on the tank, dealing damage to them and uh, slowing their movement speed by 15%. Actually, I really like this. Inflicts both shadow damage and physical damage. So no matter what type of tank you are, eh, what you're better suited for, you can reduce the damage in one way or another. Then there's Terrorize. Unleashes a terrifying screech toward a player. Okay, that was the cone. And then there's Vociferous Indoctrination. Orator Krivix torments all players, inflicting damage. It leaves behind an area of lingering influence. Inflicts damage every second to players who remain in the area. So that was at the very end when we killed it. So I'm guessing that just puts the uh, puddle on the ground and everyone needs to move with the boss. Uh, to move the boss away from the puddle. Anserak has eyes everywhere. Okay. Oh. I uh, need to get my mounts out. Pill Priest, why did that disappear? Huh. You primitives. <laughs> I'll pass you these perfumes I can't sell, and I get to keep my head. Sans ma mask your prevenance. Oh, is this... Hold on, we need to read that. Uh, mask your presence in the high hollows and you can pick up on a scent trail. Oh, do we have to find the eyes of the queen? Ah, yeah, eyes of the queen gouged. Zero out of four. Okay, get out of that. Hmm, interesting. So we need to find the... Oh dear. We need to kill these then, I assume. Oh no. That was painful. 8% of your max health every 0 0.5 seconds for 5 seconds. That's... You, you gotta avoid those at all costs then. Okay, there's no checkpoint at the first boss. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. We are skilled to level 80. I'm not sure which of the two dungeons from this week is a leveling dungeon, but uh, the, the following the same pattern where one dungeon is a leveling dungeon and the other one will be a max level dungeon. But all dungeons are tested at uh, max level. Oh, they're still in combat with the priests. Right, so we need to see if we can find the... scent. Is it just following the line? It has to be. I wonder if these will always be... Uh, guys, that's the tank. I wonder if these eyes will always be at the same location or not. Or if you're going to have to search for them every time. Oh, I see a pillar of light. It's 
just done that so that the uh, DPS isn't killed. It's one death, sadly. Void rush. Just uh, dots. Okay. There he disappears again. Other spies fallen. Yeah. So what's the next boss? Fangs of the Queen. So far I'm really getting Court of Stars vibes from this. Hey, look at that. <laughs> the cart is being pulled by a bug, by a beetle. I don't think you have to pull those. It's about finding a trail. Is it just in this entire area? Let me uh, go this way. Yeah, we need the eyes of the queen, exactly. And for that, we need to find the sense images. Nothing here. Did I see anything on the other side? Yeah, they're targeted. They've targeted something. So it is pretty far in this area. So that's three. Now we need one more. Keep your distance. The area ahead is off limits until the gas clears. Okay. Ah, here we go. Nice. Interrupt that or not. Did I have the wrong mob targeted? There's a little bit of a delay going on.
Come to me and I will help you as agreed. I'm hoping that it's just towards the boss now then. We'd better wait. Ah oh, shit, they're coming this way. Let's uh, run around. There's an, a marker on the map. So this is definitely not your typical dungeon. A lot more RP elements to it. So if I turn on arachnophobia mode, does he turn into a giant crab? Arach. No. Let's turn it off then. Transformator was once ho the home of our sacred evolution. Okay. If you say so. Fangs of the Queen. All right. Nyx and Vix. So, do they share health? Yeah. Oh, dear. A lot happening. Knife throw? Okay, there's the beams to dodge. And they're dying way too quickly. And there was a circle. All right, well, we definitely need to check the journal on that. All right, Fangs of the Queen. Sinner Jack Step. The Fangs of the Queen dash across the arena, aiming for the same target and inflicting physical damage. Nyx and Vix swap positions. Okay, so they attack someone and then they move. Yeah, they change positions. They swap. But if you're killing them at the same time, you'll be wanting to cleave them. So that shouldn't matter too much. Hmm. Harness a synergistic power, causing them to share 100% of the damage taken. Right, and that's why you want to uh, group them up to cleave. Nyx. Shade Slash. Deals damage to the tank. Oh, to all enemies in the frontal cone and leaves behind an echoing shade. It slash it echoes the slash. Um does this stay the entire time? I know we saw two cones at one point, but I don't think it added more than one. Okay, so obviously don't uh, don't point the boss at the group. Duskbringer calls upon the dark, inflicting damage over time. And damage to players within 15 yards of Nyx and his echoing shade. Ha. Huh. Okay. So move away from Nyx and as well as his shade. And then there's Vix. Why is Vix under underneath Nyx? Because we have the uh, opposite here as well. But okay. What does Vix do? Aims frosted daggers at several players, inflicting frost damage to all within the line. Okay, so spread out. Knife throw just puts a dot for three seconds on, on a random player. Okay, so spread out and don't have the tank uh, face Nyx towards the, uh, the group. Rhyme Dagger, a second tank uh, ability, deals also a, a chunk of damage, and the Frosted Daggers explode, ex applying freezing blood to the targets. 
Huh. The Frosted Daggers. Is that the same as the other one? No, that's Icicles. <laughs> what a name. Um, okay. Freezing Blood. The target's blood freezes over, inflicting a dot until they are standing near another player, and this effect stacks. Okay, but this is on the tank. So whenever the tank gets a debuff, someone needs to move uh, to the tank to get rid of the Freezing Blood debuff. Alright. And then there's Nyx... Shadow Shampoo. Shadow steps to a random player, inflicting it some damage and a dot. Okay, so in short, face the bosses away from the group, spread out, and have one person move to the tank when they get the Freezing Blood debuff. Fair enough. That, well, that was quick. Um, moving on, I guess. So, hmm. So there's two more bosses. Qua Quaglamation and the Grand Splicer. Let me ask if these guys will be... Up for the other dungeon after this. Because then I wouldn't have to spend hours in queue this weekend, which would be a nice uh, relief from the past two weekends. So outside of the interrupting and the big AOE fest, these don't be seeing, uh, seem to be doing very much. Oh, I saw the conscript do an ability. We're getting experience. Shadows of Doubt, move away from others. Oh, the orbs didn't shoot out for me as they did for the, I think it was Priest. So maybe if you dispel it, then it shoots the orbs out completely. That could certainly... Uh, be the thing. And a spray. That doesn't seem to be ah, okay, swirl. Not a cone. Over crawlers. Well, that's that's a new uh, new insult. Okay, lots of things to move out of. Wait, are these all spawning from the? Cocoons? No. 
At least we can't target them. Oh, maybe if you move over them, that would explain it. Right, that looks like a boss area, just saying. So if this is going to be the boss area, then we need to look at what these drops do. See if they give a hint. Ooh, okay. What do you do? Vicious darkness. Knockback. Oh, I see orbs. Do we dodge them? Oh, wait, that was a heal. That was a heal. Okay, swirls or puddles, rather. That's all fine and dandy. Okay, we really need to see what the journal says about that. Um. Da -da -da. The flames of the wicker light brush in vicious darkness, black blood. Okay, that is bugged. Yeah. We'll have to check the journal on that. The Koang Lamation. So this was the one with the orbs that I wasn't sure about. Uh, slams the ground. Yeah, we had that. And releases orbs of congealed black blood from canisters throughout the arena that travel toward it. Ah, orbs that reach the boss restore 3% of its maximum health. So you absolutely must run over them then. I assume. Players that orbs uh, that touch orbs of blood absorb them. Yeah, okay. But are afflicted with corrupted coating. And corrupted coating is a, a healing absorb. Okay. So what you want to do is run over the orbs and yeah, heal off the debuff. Avoid surge. Uh, excites the blood reservoirs, causing black blood to spill outward from the and form pools. Of course, they deal damage and they reduce your movement while standing in them. So don't stand in the swirls slash pools. Easy enough. And the uh, last one... Just deals AoE damage to the entire group. Dark, dark Pulse. Okay, so really just the orb management is the main mechanic. And this seems just like a really healing intense fight then. I wonder if immunities like Turtle will work on the orbs. So you could just Turtle and run through a whole bunch of them at once. If you still get the debuff then. That'll be something uh, very interesting to test. The unstable test subject does not seem to want to move towards the tank very much. That got absolutely deleted by, I assume, the Death Knight to them. I actually thought it was a Paladin spell, but... Uh, 
The city looks great, though. There, there's just such a larger skill. Through these dungeons. It's inside at the back up top. Okay. Oh, I see things there. Did we go the wrong way then? Awaiting transformation. Oh shit. This is the room with the mural. The old god mural. So question is, is this a depiction of Nazoth? Or is this something else? Maybe um, Zalatath. Okay, so what did we have there? We had a root. You could you know, use disengage or have basically uh, crowd control immunities to get out of. There was a cast to interrupt. Now there was a circle. And we have this swarm again. Let's, uh, let's see. Do you do the same thing? Shift to anim shifting animalies. Okay. Don't stand in the orbs. A dot. Umbral weave. What do you do? Oh, that's the same thing. Oh, the orbs m are moving. And it looks like there was a swirl for a moment, so... When there's a swirl, get away because an orb is going to move towards that position. Ah, and a slime as well. So he just transforms into those two lieutenants, essentially. Awesome. Well, that was uh, quick. Once after the, uh, the smelling scent portion of the dungeon. Uh, well, let's have a look at the journal. And then we have Izzo, the Grand Splicer, the last one. Um, shifting Anomalies. Uh, these were the orbs. Yeah. Obviously don't stand in them. We have a Splice, just dealing AoE damage. We have Tremor Slam. Okay, that was the circle when... Uh, he transformed into the Nerubian Lord. And... It awakens scarabs that attack players. I'm not sure we even saw this. I think the boss might have died too quickly. But okay. And then there's Umbral Weave. Uses her mastery to transform into a Nerubian Sage. And she ensnares all players. Okay, yeah. So this is like uh, the third boss in Dawn of the Infinite, for example. But on all five people at the same time. Use stuff like Disengage, uh, Hand of Freedom, to reduce the amount of snares you have to DPS. And then there's the last one. Recalls all animal animalies to her location and then violently smashes them into her targets. One at a time. Right, okay, so this is just a tank buster. Hmm. Uh, and it deals damage to players within 10 yards, actually. So anyone who isn't a tank should be moving away from the boss at this point. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was uh, the City of Threads. 
um, interesting bosses for the most part. I could see Orator Crix Vix being a little bit of a problem for pugs. Uh, Fangs of the Queen, once you know what to do, is easy. Uh, same for Coagulation. I do wonder how much of a healing challenge this is going to be, though, with the healing absorbs. And, yeah, the last boss was fun. Um, it just died too quickly, so uh, we couldn't even see the, the ad spawning, for example. Um, but, yeah, that was City of Threads. Um, so that's where we're going to leave this, then. If you guys liked this first look, be sure to uh, drop a like and uh, subscribe. And if you're interested in my other content, uh, there's actually currently a, a giveaway running over on my Twitter until the 15th of May 2024. Uh, Blizzard was kind enough to uh, give uh, me two codes for, uh, to give away for the Cataclysm Classic uh, Epic Edition uh, pack, basically. Uh, that includes the mounts and a bunch of other uh, cool things. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, check out the giveaway over on Twitter. Um, and of course, I'm also on Twitch, uh, where I stream uh, irregularly. But if you want a, a notification when I go live, be sure to follow me there. Um, of course, both Twitter and uh, Twitch are also on slash bbmezzy. Um, and in terms of the first look videos, uh, this is the last week, uh, last dungeons that we can have a first look at. Um, so I'm not sure what will follow on YouTube in the, in the coming uh, weeks and months. Uh, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time on the actual dungeon guides. Uh, I can already do some preparatory work. Um, but then once the mythic uh, dungeons come out, that's where the real work begins for me. So I'm sure I'll be busy with that. But I'll, uh, uh, of course, stream what I can in terms of my testing for the Mythic Dungeons as well. Um, is there anything else I'm forgetting to say? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Mezzi, and I'll see you again next time.